Hi Pisces, I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights. If you are new to my page, welcome. Today is all about your life and love energy for the month of July 2019. I don't want to waste too much time, so I'm just going to dive right in, okay? This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please remember this is a general reading, so it may and it may not apply. So please do check your rising sign. Um, your Venus, your Jupiter, your Mars, Mercury, all that gets juicy stuff, right? And check your Venus sign as well. All right, so guys, listen, Pisces. It seems like there's been like a lot of lack of interest in some areas of your world or, um, or some type of just lack of just a little bit of everything. And I feel like the good thing is... Things are turning around for you in a very strange, weird way. Just because it's like, I feel like a lot of you are overcoming this this energy where there was some type of deceit or you felt like people or someone wasn't just being totally honest with you. So for a lot of you, this could even be someone at your workplace. Maybe someone would not totally honest with you or maybe they kind of crossed their boundaries with you cross the lines with you is what I'm hearing. So somebody definitely either crossed the lines or you felt like or you felt as some in some type of way like your thoughts or your um opinions was not truly accepted and whoever this person was, I feel like there was there was either deceit or some type of betrayal of some sort. And for a lot of you, like I said, this energy is going to play out different. But for some of you, this is even deceit with self. Like, a lot of things that you were recently going through, like for the past few weeks or months or so, for some of you, like I said, it's going to be different. But some of the things that you guys were going through is, like, self-inflicted. Like, it was nothing no one personally did to you or something that somebody said. It was actually just something that you did or something that has caused you a great deal of aggravation and frustration and um, a great deal of depression. Um, I feel like even in the month of June, there was some um, some news that came to you that was very strong in regards to family or someone close to you. Um, and I feel like a lot of that energy is following you in a sense, but the betrayal part is not there anymore. In other words, like, I feel like you guys are not dealing with that same energy. Like, you're not dealing with it the same way. Like, you're going into the month of July feeling like, okay, let me trust my intuition. Let me call on God. Let me call on spirit to guide me. Let me rely more on my instinct, you know. Um, what is happening for me? What do I need to work on? What is causing me to feel this way? Why am I feeling so frustrated? Why am I feeling so insecure? Like you guys are tapping into that, um, that inner knowing, like that inner wisdom part of you. Okay. So, but spirit wants you to know that you do know what to do. So you have to trust that instinct. You have to trust your solar plexus, my love. You have to trust that instinct. You have to trust your intuition. Don't be afraid to rely on your own inner wisdom this season. That is what the universe is telling you, okay? Take appropriate action without delay, okay? Because it seems like before you weren't really taking action when it came to doing things that you really wanted to do. You were daydreaming a lot and thinking about it a lot and had many, many thoughts about it and many, many disagreements about this particular subject or idea or even this situation, right? But you were never really taking actual action when it came to it. And this could be something in regards to, again, maybe someone has been bothering you at work and maybe you've just been letting it go and letting it go. And the month of July, this is the month of action. This is so it's doesn't really surprise me that this energy is very heavy for you where because you guys can be very passive um, and at times um, very pessimistic okay so sometimes it does kind of take things to kind of shift into your world to kind of make you wake up into reality and to make you be a bit more assertive and maybe possibly a bit more aggressive um just so that way you can get what you want it's not saying go out and be an asshole this season but what it's saying is that whatever it is that your heart desire is this is the the perfect season for you to really 
put everything you want into fruition, like really go after it. In the month of June, a lot of you did that. Like I said, you did a lot of thinking and planning and processing and really putting, you know, gathering your resources and things together for some of you anyway. And then <clears throat> this month is like, okay, I'm ready. I'm going to rely on my intuition. I'm going to move when I should move. I'm going to trust that spirit is going to guide me the right way. I'm going to talk to the right people at the right time. I'm not going to waste too much time just babbling or wish. I see a lot of wishful, wishful thinking, wishful hoping and wishful, um, just wishing, wishing, wishing. Okay, it's like wishing, wishing I had this, or wishing I can be over there, wishing I can have that job, wishing I can be with this person. Like, I just see a lot of wishful thinking going on. And it's like, when it's like that, you cannot properly manifest what you really desire. So even with your creativity, everything has come to a complete stop, like a complete halt telling you, listen, slow down. So I'm going to tell you the reason why you're going to be feeling some, some movements in your energy this season in the month of July, because July 2nd, um, we had the new moon going into your sister sign cancer. So that's definitely going to open up your intuition a bit more, allowing you to tap into that, again, that inner wisdom and making you realize things that like, kind of like an aha moment, like, you know, like you knew it was time to make changes on some things or you knew it was time to um, shift some things around. But like I said, in the month of June, you wasn't really, you know, feeling like being bothered. You didn't really feel like doing all that. But in the month of July, you're going to get that extra, mm, you know, like, okay, I can do this. I can get up and go to work tomorrow. Like, okay, my energy is back. This person, I don't have to work with this person no more. I don't have to go home and hear this person yelling at me anymore. Or I don't have to put up with this nonsense anymore. Like this, this, this. Mm, finally, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm moving on, right? So that's really good. But then on an the aspect of like your value, I just feel like a lot of you are going to be thinking about your values and um, even your self-value, thinking of your self-worth, okay? Like, is it really worth my time being here in this moment with this person? Or is it really worth my time continuously working at this job where I know I'm not happy? I'm consistently going to work every day and they don't appreciate me. They just blah, 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 blah. And it's like, it just feels like the same old redundant thing. And for some of you, this is like, okay. For some of you, you're okay doing this. Some of you, you're okay with that nine to five. You can go to work, come home, be with family, make dinner. Some of you are totally okay with that. And then there's the other side of you where it's like, okay, this is boring. I've been doing this for some time now. I'm ready for something new right? And this season with that inner wisdom tapping in, I feel like you will be blessed with that. So pay attention to all the different messages that's going to come to you this season, especially around between the 7th and the 12th of the month, just because that is going to be a very monumental time, okay? Mercury will go retrograde in Cancer, again, in your sister sign. So not only do we have a new moon in Cancer, but then Mercury will go retrograde in your sister sign, Cancer. And again, that may kind of bring up old issues, bring up people from the past, um people that you don't even want to deal with, people calling you about old situations. You may have forgotten to sign something, or it may not even be that bad. You may actually find something um, that you lost, right? Um, again, when Mercury go retrograde, it kind of either slow things down, delay some things, or old things pop up. But sometimes communication can get really, really rough during Mercury retrograde, depending on other aspects in your birth chart. I do feel, though... Water and earth energy this season will be able to withstand this Mercury retrograde because it's not going to be so bad. You get what I'm saying? It's not going to be like how it was at the top of the year, like back in March. It's not going to be so bad, okay? Um, so I do believe that water signs and earth signs will be able to 
easily get through this moment, okay? So the good thing is, again, I do see some golden opportunity here for you as well. So that could be this grand opportunity. But do me a favor, Pisces. Do not quit this job during Mercury retrograde. Do not walk away from this relationship during Mercury retrograde. For a lot of you, this is in regard to your finances. For some of you, this is a love situation. For some of you, this can even be a family situation. Either way, for some of you, this can... During Mercury retrograde, it's not really a good time to either quit or start something, right? But the one thing we have in our favor is that this is the kickoff for the next season of our lives like harvest season is going to be approaching soon so this is a perfect time to really kind of start something but make sure we're doing it right you know what I mean like double checking everything double checking your paperwork if you need to speak to a lawyer speak to a lawyer if you need to do renovations in the home just kind of make sure you double check everything like don't run with the first thing that you see in here or um, look at you get what I'm saying like make sure that you double check everything it's very very imperative that you do this Pisces okay so again the universe is reminding you trust that inner wisdom if something sounds a little too good to be true then you know nine out of ten it is right so Mercury is going to go retrograde from July 7th for if give or take a day up until July 31st but I always try to tell everyone, try to give it like an extra week before you do anything. Because that first week in August, we'll have that new moon in Leo. So we'll be able to celebrate. We'll be happy. There's no stress. Mercury is not going retrograde in Virgo this year. So that's something to really, really celebrate. Okay, so... Um, I think that overall, you guys' energy is going to be really, really good. But you have to remember who you are, Pisces. You are a very intuitive individual, and you know this. You are very intuitive, very spiritual. And so for some reason, though, you have been really lacking in some areas when it comes to your spirituality and your creativity, your sexuality, your finances. Like, it's just been a lot on top of a lot. And so the universe is giving you an opportunity to kind of reframe your mindset and to start over, to breathe, to trust you in the wisdom, to say, okay, what did I do wrong the last time? It's giving you an opportunity to start fresh, okay? The 15th or the 16th, give or take a day, we will have the full moon in Capricorn. Around that week, that's why I said up until the 12th with that Mercury thing, because around the 15th or 16th, that full moon in Capricorn is really serious by nature. So... It's going to force you to kind of be serious anyway. So you will be like, okay, what time is it? I have to go. Okay, okay, did I finish that assignment? Okay, did I get home in time? Okay, I need to go book this appointment. Like, you're going to be very serious by nature because by nature, that is who Capricorn are. They're like, that's who they are. They are very dynamic and serious, and they take life very seriously. They are not here to play games. And so allow, you know, in my opinion, that energy is really going to help you to kind of get a boost, a head start in your projects. You know what I'm saying? Because Capricorns, even with their methodical approach, they can be very, um, again, they are conservative. You know, they tend to think things through. And they don't stop until they get what they want. But they are in a rush. They know they're going to get there anyway. So use that ability to really, really help you. Build up on your resources, your creativity. Really write down phone numbers. Start emailing people. If you feel like, look, I reached out to someone. They didn't get back to me Reach out to them again because, again, during Mercury Retrograde, communication gets messed up. Finances can get messed up. There can be some delays. There can be some disagreements along the way. But, again, with you guys being a water sign, I don't feel like it's going to be that major for you. But just giving you a heads up on how tough Mercury Retrogrades can be, okay? But again, Pisces, overall, there is an amazing golden opportunity here for you. For a lot of you, this can be something dealing with your home, your finances, or this could even be possibly a new friendship or a new love affair, okay? But some important doors are actually opening up for you right now, and I don't want to talk too much, but it's definitely about to happen for you just because I feel like, again, you're reframing your mindset. You're becoming like this whole new individual. So that is really good. So, Pisces, I love you. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Share this message around the world. Please comment below. Keep it love and light. Ah, I love you guys. Bye.